Good morning, everybody. It's Monday morning. I have a big thank you to give to the people who are subscribing and supporting and commenting on my videos. I know they're not earth shattering. I know I really don't have anything brand new and freaking awesome that you get up in the morning and I can't wait to watch Carol's videos. I know that. So for me, it's really about relationships and people and doing something new and keeping my brain active. And it's so fun when you all comment and thumbs up and subscribe and all that. It's an endorphin rush for me, as I'm sure it is for all YouTubers. Um, aren't very, very many YouTubers that I know of that do it and don't get that little a little giddy when you see the numbers crawl so um thanks really i feel humbled to have reached 700 subbies i who knew i mean yeah so i uh, i went over to shannon's channel to see what she's got going on for the weekly art inspired uh, Inspired Art Weekly Challenge. I really love that, Shannon. So um, I went over there and I saw the butterflies and that's what I was going to do today, but I don't have any flowers that are that will work. And I don't have the little doodahs. So I'm going to work on that. I was going to do Carry the Crafter's Box, but that's a long process. I think I'll save that. Anyway... My brain went all the way around to, Carol, you're doing a shabby journal. Get it done. So, there you go. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up these and then move on to more things. One of the things I do want to do, Shannon did a tag your it for a belly band. And I'd really love to do that. And if you're not playing tag your it yet, jump in, please. Tag somebody. A smaller channel under a thousand is kind of what I had in mind. Just do a project and then in your title put at the at sign and their channel name and then tag your it. And they're supposed to do the, the project that you did. And then in turn, they're supposed to do their own project. They can get it from anywhere and tag three more channels. Okay, so it's supposed to be like a domino effect. Tag as many channels as you want. It's all about fun, right? Doesn't have to be brand new project, doesn't have to be super great or anything. Just just tag people. All right, so I did a little, um, I, I don't know if I, I just put some paper in here with a little clip and then I put a little piece of lace on there just to make it freaking awesome. Um, so I need to figure out a closure for this. It hasn't come to me yet. <laughs> this is too dark. I really like that blue and red that's going on there. But it's overall, it's just too dark. So I was thinking about maybe lace. I don't know. I mean, there comes a point when you really have to just stop. Well, look at that. That is beautiful. <laughs> Not funny. That's, I don't know. That's just weird. Just weird. Let's see. Today is Monday. You all know I am retired. And so the days kind of run together. I don't have a lot of appointments this week. I actually decided a couple weeks ago, I told my husband, I am not committing. I'm not going to commit to any more things. There for a while, I was the, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, sure, I'll do it. Sure, I'll do it. And I love to volunteer, and I love to help and all that, but... I'm gonna, I want a blank schedule. I got to looking at my calendar and it started getting a little, um, well, stress 
helpful is a generic word, but yeah, I started getting worried because I can't always make my commitments. My health does not always allow that. So, okay, I don't like that. Let's take it off before it dries. Carol, hurry, hurry, hurry. That's the wrong pin. No, we don't, we don't like that. Oh, y'all, if you have not gone over and started watching uh, Downton Abbey, go. It's a great series. It's really addicting. Nah, trying too hard. Let's set that somewhere. I did a little cleanup in my room this morning. I love this envelope. What is it about this envelope? I don't know, but I just, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to say this is done. One of these is old, and I don't know which one. I'm not going to do that other edge. I kind of like it the way it is. I wished I would have cut that. I may put a little flower there or something. Let's look. Well, looky there. Oh, right there, I have a little pile of, where did this come from? Oh, I like that. Let's use that. So, I'm trying to look there first before I go into my scrap bin or something. This is a fussy cutted, so it must have been a digi from somewhere. I just want to cover that hard edge, that's all. I can't have that. I watched a great video, organizational sort of video this morning. Um, I guess, I don't know. I'm in two camps. Uh, her room is serene and clean lines. Everything's in white, acrylic, and tan. It's called um, Life in a Bullet or something like that. I sub to her channel. Um, looks like a great channel. She's moving into a new craft room and has all new IKEA. Well, Ikea, Amazon, whatever, but yeah. But I, you know, I'm thinking, how would you work? Where's all the, where's your stuff? <laughs> you know, I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty and it's open and there's house plants and, you know, pretty things and it's great, but I don't know. This needs paper or something. I'm gonna reach for this pile first. So I have these. Um, I have this scrap Lacta paper. have to use that for like a tag back or something because it's got the label on it. And thank heaven Amazon keeps track of your orders so you don't need to yourself. So. Hmm. I'm really having a ball with that series. It's there's really not a lot of anything in it. Um, 
I don't know. It's not super suspenseful. It's like an adult, and I don't mean adult because of the graphics. I mean, just it's just mature. Um, like an adult soap opera kind of in, in uh, where are they? England, England? I don't know where they are actually. Okay, I like that when it fit. It's a little too long. Now we're talking. Take a sip of your coffee, guys. I'm thinking I may take a trip and go downtown today. Maybe even to Hobby Lobby. Maybe, I don't know. I don't need this completely dry, I just want it dry enough that it'll hold glue. Pretty fast. Better quit before the fire alarm goes off. Okay, well, we're talking a little better. I'm thinking I'll put a cover on this. What do I have? Anything right here? Hmm. That might be a good start. What about this? <clears throat> it's a little too, um, I don't know. It's a little too something. Hmm. Okay, I think we're on to something. I don't remember what this paper is, but I love it. I think it's Tim Holtz labor, label paper. Anybody know? If y'all have not gone over, put hashtag channel challenge in your search engine. 
go see what everybody's doing. Tina from Tina Loves to Craft. She's making the most unique journal I think I've ever seen. I mean, it 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 is cool. It is very, very cool. I don't know if this would work. Oh, yeah, it will. Okay, we'll just cut it about right there. That's, oh, jeez, that was... I could feel the scissors going in the wrong direction. That's how bad that was. Let's try a little harder. This is just the cardboard back off of my cheesecloth that I used when I tea dyed my cheesecloth. It's all wrinkled and looks cool. Okay, does it wrap? By George, it does. Cool, okay. Now, let's not lose track of what we're doing. I don't think I need to tie it. Hmm. Okay, so what my plan was originally was I was going to staple this, but is that won't necessarily... Oh, yeah, well, okay. Right? No. Who knows? We'll, we'll start, and if it doesn't work, we'll go, oh, that didn't work. Just switch the back for the front. Yep, I did. Okay, so that goes like this. And this was like that, right? No. No, absolutely not. It was not that way. Okay, let's get our... Well, let's grunge it up first. I was hoping is that I could use this, but I don't know if... Bye, George. I think you did it. Okay. Cool. Now, we're going to put this to this, and then glue it in there. Okay, I gotcha.
what's going on. Hmm. I'm not patient enough to wait. We don't need Fabri-Tac anyway, so let's use this. What I want is for these two to be relatively close to the spine. I don't want to stress it out too much right off, so let's put a little something. Do we want lace? Yes, we do, but not that. We want this. Isn't that sweet? I don't think you can find these little pins anymore. That came out handy. Okay, I'm going to need you, Fabri-Tac, so behave yourself. Angela over at Angela Thomas Dogwood Paper Arts she is uh, doing the channel challenge also and she did tag your it. I kind of like that. I don't know what it is, but yeah, we'll put it on there. Um, and her book that I sent her a kit. That's what the channel challenge was. I sent out a kit, and it was a surprise to everybody. And um. The rules are minimal, first of all, and is you have to use a little something out of everything in the kit, and you need to film the process, and then you need to do, you need to give it away, and you can do the giveaway however you want. And whoever wins these, I mean, they are works of art. So... Shannon over at Mixed Media, she did her giveaway, and hers was a spring journal. And that was a journal that I would buy off of Etsy. It was just happy and cheerful and uh, lots of detail, very usable. In fact, I think all of them have been really practical and real books that you, you would take with you, you know, in the car on a weekend trip, you know, on the cruise, whatever, and journal. I like that. And I think I'll like it even more with some buttons, so hold on.
Okay, so I moved everything around, and where are the buttons? They are right here. Ha ha ha. It's all fun and dandy to put things places and organize and everything, but then when, it, you know, the truth really is, can you find it? It's supposed to be functional. I ordered these off of Amazon and it said they were adhesive. Lie. Another lie. They're not adhesive. Fabri-Tac works. Let's see if we don't have a little... I don't care that they're not exact. That's not the book we're making. Um, but I do want to look and see if I have a butterfly or something. Bugs. I don't know if a butterfly is technically a bug, is it? Hmm. Oh, I have a rose. This book I got from Bella and Gray, and they make the labels however you want, however many you want. And the book is great. It is held up. I love it a lot. I would not order again only because the shipping was, I think it was twice as much as the book. I don't remember, but it was a lot. It was very expensive. I feel badly for Bella and Gray because they do beautiful work, but sometimes the shipping is just more than your product and... There's some, can you see those little birds? I wonder what I could do with. Oh, love that little mailbox. It's just not gonna work. How about these little birds? No. Nope. There comes a point when you're trying too hard and you have to realize it's not if it's not happening, it's just not happening. Mm -hmm. I want to do a dragon book. Victoria Designs has some dragon digis. <laughs> they are so cool. The heck? Come on. I have to have something. I think I fussy cut his leg off. Oh. What is this? Hmm. That it looks like a barn sparrow to me, or a um, not a sparrow, a barn. We had them at the house we just moved out of last year. Well, not last year. We've been here over a year now. Swallow. We enjoyed them so much. Guys. 
That's not it either. Hmm. I don't see it. I just don't see something that I love. Maybe it just needs a label. Let's look at labels. Hmm. Brevity. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Hold on. Oh, sorry, guys. Be just a little touch shorter. And I happen to have some muslin right here. It's a lot of work for a little notebook. Hmm. Maybe. Let's tear it up a little bit. Shorten it a little bit. I don't think I'm going to be able to. I'm not going to be able to. <laughs> I need pliers or something. I like it. <clears throat> oh, we're doing it. What's wrong with you? I just cleaned you up. Hmm. Hmm. There's plenty of glue coming out if you push hard enough, so I wonder if it's just too thick still. I soaked the rims in acetone and took my little tool and cleaned it all out.
My dogs are sad. It snowed last night, and my husband's doing fun stuff in the shop, and they want to be out there chasing squirrels and causing havoc. And I let them out for a minute, and they both came running back in because it's cold. Um, let's see. We want just a little lace right there. I think we do. Okay, going to have to figure out what is wrong here because yesterday it was fine. Anything that might go with brevity. I'm not sure I've sold on the definition of brevity. Alexa, what does brevity mean? Brevity is usually defined as shortness of time or duration. Mm -hmm. For more, ask me to give you more definitions for brevity. Let's do this. I thought brevity was all about um, like if you're walking swiftly, it would be your balance. You know, if you were, I don't know, I don't know how to describe what I was thinking, but moving with balance or tackling a situation with brevity or up new every day. I thought you could, yeah, I thought it was like an adjective. You would handle something with brevity. Let's do this bass backwards. No, that'll hold better. No, I don't like it. Nope, nope, nope. So, if we're going to hang it this way, correct? So now, if you're still watching, you've learned a new word, or maybe you already knew it, but now you've been reminded about it. Okay, I'm not going to shut it, but that looks cute. This is still wet, so we won't, we won't mess with that yet. Yeah, that's going to be adorable. Okay, that, I'm going to call that done. Oh, let's see. We'll put those over here. I don't know what I got. That. Oh, that was to help me with my bottle. It wasn't very helpful. I don't know about this. I could just tie something on it. Well, it does need something here, too. Hmm. I love this. Let's try it. I'm so grateful that I took my laces out of the little basket I had them in and 
pinned them and made these little these and got them all organized because it it really that's got glue on it. It makes a big difference. Where's that little oh I used it didn't I? No? Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, it makes a difference when you're a little organized. You can find things better. I don't. I think we're just gonna need like just a little bit, right? Mm. Maybe like so. And then, and then something here. That looks like pot. It's pretty. Oh, here's pink. Let's, let's see about this. George, you're onto something there. Not sure what, but. Okay, we're doing it. Let's fight with the Fabri-Tac again. It looks like there's a string in there or something. I wonder if it's picked up some... Hmm. Hurry, Carol, hurry. I'm not going to glue it down all the way so that the ends are loose. I don't know why. Where's my tin littles? Come to me. I'm my. Uh, this little butterfly would go on the other one that I was looking for. Where's it at? I think I chopped his leg off, so I'm trying to compensate for that somehow. Okay, I know I want this down, so I'm going to put it down. But 
I'm not, I'm going to use paper glue on the rest of it because I, I don't know what's wrong with this, but I don't like it much right now. <laughs> so let's just, uh, I want to say this is Artie Mays. Not sure though. I think it needs something smaller. that's smaller or not. Maybe it's just lighter and we'll see. Okay, we'll see how this dries. That's my only concern. I like the way it turned out. Um, it's added some interest where there wasn't any at all. But let me see how it turns out over time. Um, if this will stick or not. So the inside is done and I just need a latch. And um, huh, I... Hmm. Well, that would work, wouldn't it? Let's use Fabri-Tac since there's so much going on there with inks, different inks and stuff. I mean, Fabri-Tac is basically like Cold hot glue, I think. It holds everything. I used it to fix my cabinetry at the old house. I had a little piece of really pretty braided looking wood trim that a gal had, she redid, her and her husband redid our cabinets. And um, she put this really pretty, cute little piece of trim on, skinny, and it popped off. And I put Fabri-Tac on it and it worked great. <laughs> hmm. 
Yeah, I think that'll work fine. I might maybe put a little weight on this. Let's put my tea bottle on it. There you go. Stay. Okay, what time are we at? Why does it go so fast? It's like when you take your little kids to the park and they say, already, you know? That's too much, no, Carol, leave that alone. All right, let's see what's going on here. It's totally dry, isn't it? No, it's not totally dry. But that's what it's gonna look like and it will go in that envelope. So we'll set that there. And let's put this in the Tim Littles because I don't want to play with it. Now, this one, I'll maybe I'll do it off camera. You kind of can feel where I'm going, right? Um, I'm gonna, I'll put something wonderful. <laughs> I don't know, I'll put something in there. I'm not sure what. I don't know. I was kind of thinking of using this to make a notebook. Maybe that is what I'll do for that. So we'll go one. Two. really don't want to waste any of this any of this it um, I watched I went and watched a video last night about how they make it Wow what a process so um, I'm thinking of a little topper like let's try this No, 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 bigger. It really does look like handmade paper. Feels like hand. Well, it is handmade paper. Duh. I don't know that I'm entirely sold on the idea. I think I'm onto something. I'm just not sure. Hmm. 
Hmm. So imagine that for a minute, would you? See what happens. Hmm. I think I like it. It's weird. These are curtains, and I think they had geese in them. And I've had them since I bought them at a thrift store. And I've had them since the 70s. And oh, Lord knows I have a lot of it. Yeah, see, there's the ge geese, goose. <laughs> Okay, I really like that. I think that's pretty. Let's stress this out a little bit. This paper, it really is neat to play with. It takes everything, glue, dye, inks, I like it. I like it. And then some stamping, maybe. Let's do it. Definitely a Fabri-Tac sort of thing. I should say Fabri-Tac. Yeah, if you go to um, Lock de Paper, How to Make Lock de Paper, it takes you to Nepal where you can see them actually making it. Uh, it's very laborious. And, you know, ethically, I wondered about buying the paper because the very last thing I would ever want to do is support somebody who is making a huge profit from the labors of the vulnerable and uh, them not getting recognition, you know. We all know that happens. It's hard to know. And I don't know how you would research that, but it does look like, um, to me, that, you know, it's not a big factory. It looked like it was, you know, kind of families making the paper um, and trimming the trees and all of that. Um, I pray that they're able to make a decent living for all that work. I, if anybody knows anything about Lacta paper and, um, you know, how that, if it's, uh, If they're treated fairly sort of thing, I would sure love to know. Like I said, the, la the very last thing I would want to do is to support a hu somebody who's making a ton of money off of the sweat and labor of someone who's poor and not sharing the spoils. So I, I need something thinner. 
I want to tie a bow. And now I can talk English with an English accent because I'm watching Downton Abbey. I found myself going, oh yes, dear. <laughs> ah, isn't that funny? They're so dignified. Putting on tails for dinner. Ew. Well, my jam. Okay, that's going to have to dry before I make a decision because it's going to stick. I might not like it, and I don't want it to stick if I don't like it. But we have a direction. So this will go in here. be really nice if I could put an old ink pen or something in there and a brooch right there. I don't know if I have one. feels dry to me. Let's see if it fits. Uh, I'm going to see. Maybe we should go like... Yeah, that's aesthetically pleasing. And... Um, as for a closure, I don't know. Let's think about that next time. Okay, boy, we, we got a lot done. I'm not gonna keep you anymore. I'm way past time again. Um, I do wanna reiterate though how grateful I am. I'm very humbled by your kindness and your kind comments and everybody's support, your willingness to play Tag Your It. And if you haven't jumped into Tag Your It and you have a channel, just do it. Do something on your channel, put hashtag Tag Your It and tag somebody. And then they will do the project and they will pass it on, do another project and, and tag people. And let's see if we can't help these smaller channels like mine grow. So if you're a channel under a thousand that was designed for you. So let's do it. Let's all take care of each other. Bye.